Hello everybody, this is Darcy, uh, um, right now I'm called Discovering Darcy, and I have a Facebook group called Darcy's Designs, which I'm thinking of changing, but right now that's what it is, it's open to the public. Today I am working on a little golden book journal. I did a test one yesterday and did make some changes from that, so... Glad I did a test one. Hey, okay, I'm just gonna get right into it because I won't. I'm gonna talk. I can talk while I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna use my knife. I've seen people do this different ways. I do not know where my staple remover is. So, and I wish there was a way I could keep this intact without ripping it. But it's end up with pieces. Oh, what happened to the pieces from yesterday? I hope they didn't get thrown away. Um, I'll use them on a piece of ephemera or on a page in the book somewhere because to me that is kind of a, a little golden book bit that, that says little golden book to me. I don't know about y'all. I'm not originally from, from Virginia. I live in Virginia now, which is why I say y'all. And I've lived here over 30 years, but I'm originally from Massachusetts. And I would like to do a shout out to my nephew, Alton, who watches my videos. Love you, kiddo. Um, and his brothers and sister as well, but I don't think they watch. I should have done this before. Sorry. I started doing some things before and then it kept messing up. And then I was like, well, I guess I'll be showing how to fix these mess ups. Um... This week was my first time trying a little golden book journal. And I think I've simplified it enough so there's not as much cutting. I hope. We'll see today if it will work. So, I wanna, like I said, I want to keep as much. Uh, I'll use it like on a little collage or something. I'm going to use it somewhere. So now I can see these and I can poke them right up if my knife wants to cooperate that is and then I can just pull it out from the other side oh, you think I could so I have my little handy dandy no 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 tweezers <clears throat> I've heard people talk about video brain or video whatever where you can't think of words when you're videoing and um i've experienced that i haven't made many videos but i have experienced the uh inability to remember words while videoing although it happens in actual real life situations too but um let's see the people who inspire me that i watch on youtube um well, first of all, the non-YouTube person that inspired me to even start with junk journaling was my Aunt Marge. And she told me about Gail. Hmm. I have to have her name written in front of me to be able to pronounce it. But Agostinelli, I think, is her last name. And then Pamela on the paper, is it Pamela? On the paper outpost. Um, I watch a lot of her. I have watched some Artie Mays and a couple of Tsunami Rose. People talk about them a lot. But I've mostly watched the people who have been inspired by those people. If I think of who else I watch on a consistent basis. So. Alright, this is being annoying. And then, if you've watched other little golden book videos, you'll notice that sometimes people leave this bit on and sometimes they don't. I want to leave mine on just because um, I'm lazy and I don't want to have to cut all my papers down and also I don't want to lose anything here that I don't have to and I don't want to have to cover up any of the title. Um, that's just personal preference. Yay! Alright, so then you open up the book and um, this one actually still has the thing on it, but we're not keeping that because we are going to make this a ring down journal. Um, 
which I don't think I mentioned that yet. I don't know what happened to my scissors. My other scissors. I don't like to use these on glue. But I don't know what happened to my other ones. So I'm just going to... Oh, you know what? I could make my life so much easier if I remembered that I had my X-Acto knife. I don't know that it's exactly a brand, but I should have brought up my pink one. It's prettier. And you know what else is also easier to make this happen? Where'd my ruler go? Seriously, I had everything all set out here beside me. And now stuff has, like, disappeared. I had my ruler. Where did it go? No, seriously. Who took my ruler? Here it is. Covered by paper. All right, so straight line. And that way, I can just follow my ruler to get the straight line. Well, straightish. Well, that did not work so well for me, but now at least I can get to it. Did it not? Cut it all with the. I know, I'm cutting. Well, I'm not going toward myself. I'm just cutting down. That's not working either. It's going to get covered up. I'm not too concerned. I just don't want any. I want to keep it as, at least a little bit clean, just so that it doesn't become bulky. Because we are going to cover this just the edge, just enough. Should just use this for now but i'm gonna be using it any second now where's my seriously i'm like i just took a picture of it to show somebody what it was um it's just inexpensive um paper mailing tape that i picked up at walmart yesterday intending to use it for clusters because i've never made clusters before but i'm in a swap to make clusters and so I thought I'd start looking for stuff to use. And I just happened to see that when I was at Walmart yesterday and thought, ooh, that might make some interesting. Actually, those books aren't lined up because then I could just line it up like that. See, are we straight? Before I press it down, I want to make sure I'm straight, which I won't get too anal about it, but that is just under an inch. That is right. I think I'm fairly straight. And then I learned this trick from, man, why can't I think of words? So I'm going to push this up to the edge with my, oh, some trick. I'm out of not doing so great with that today because my I sh see i think what i should have done is sanded that edge to make it a little bit more smooth but i'm not going to worry about it because i mean i may end up doing a see it looks straight and now no i think it is it's just those books aren't lined up and that's bugging me hey i actually got it fairly even usually i don't the front cover will be a little bit different because i don't want to cover the p Another brand, I know somebody's saying, put away your exacto knife so you don't get cut. And I'm just living here like I don't get cut, but I do. I cut by my cat yesterday, playing with a piece of paper with her. She grabbed at the paper and got my hand and got well now got my my finger right there. She was just playing. She didn't need to do it. My husband thinks she does it on purpose. 
He doesn't get it. She's just a cat being a cat. All right, let's see. This is the edge of there. I kind of want, oh, I can see that. I need to go over the second line just a little bit. So I am going to have to, let's see, that's a, I'm going to have to cover a little bit of the P. But just a tiny spot. Okay, we're pretty even here. Just over an inch this time. Yeah. No, we're not. We need to go down a little bit on this one. Over this way a little bit on this one. That looks too far. This is why I don't press it down until I learned that the hard way yesterday. All right, that's an inch and a. Well, it's not. It's a little more. It's okay. It looks even now. Now I can press it down. All right, let's see if this works better this time. Okay, if I can remember the name of the lady I watched that does this. Um, I think she's Junk Journal Buddies. Not Buddies. Junk Journal Ideas. Junk Journal Buddies is, uh, I think, Liz. That's the Facebook group that I'm in. So I do watch Liz as well. Liz for a day. The fantabulous Liz. I use that word too. I'm like, um, do we, are we friends and I don't know it? Because she uses a lot of the same words I do. Um, except hair grease. I don't talk about hair grease like she does. <laughs> um, well, I shouldn't talk about it. It's just in her sign off. Um, the other lady I think is Junk Journal Ideas and I think she's Australian and she, she's the one that I learned to do that, you know, to get that. Okay, now I should probably, what they call it? Burnish? Burnish this tape? Okay, if you go to my Facebook group, you're going to see it's actually called Darcy's Perfectly Imperfect Designs. Um, I'm trying to let go of perfection. So, okay, if this is, this is going to be a little too long, I am going to have to cut those a little bit shorter. Just go under. And I have this all perfect. This is my template that I made, which, see, now that I've done it from one end and I've already put in my holes, I want to, and I tried to reinforce my holes with the tape, which obviously is not straight there. All right, good. Now it'll fit inside. So let me double check the size of this. It is at least six and a half long, which is nice. Then I only have to cut just a little bit off of the pages that are in the book. And then this way is, oh, now it does say eight. I thought it was eight before, but apparently it was just over eight. So now it is eight. So six and a half by eight is are the page sizes I'm looking for. And so I have my template to make life easier for me so that I can line up my, well, easier for lining up. I'm still having issues with, I want it to be centered on there. It's just a tiny bit smaller than the book. So to, oh my goodness. You hate me. I think this must have harder cardboard in it. This was not as hard yesterday to do in the other in the other book, which was a brand new book too. This is I'm pretty sure a brand new book. Let me get some others. No, I should at least get one cut first. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was not easy. Let me try it from the other side to see if it, this should be, all right, so I did about an inch from each end and then one in the middle or close to the middle. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> I do have to do it from this side because otherwise it's going to off a little bit. And I wanted to do a ring bound one. Oh, I'm going to have to have my husband do the rest of this. I was able to do it yesterday, but not today. Ow. But that's okay. We can still work on pages. So there'll be, you know, like the template, there'll be three rings in each. And I learned yesterday, too, to put to get all my pages and then bind them because having to open three rings and close three rings a million times is pretty annoying. All right, I had, so now we have these. And they should already be eight inches. I need to turn this around. They should already be eight inches long. Yes, they are. So I just have to, I'm not going to cut all three at once because then I run the risk of having them not be the same size. So I only have to cut off the tiniest bit. Uh, the ones I were doing yet was do, the ones I did yesterday did a little bit shorter. So you actually, it cut right to the staples, but that's not happening. I'm doing them a little bit longer today. Now let's see how they come out. I think they should come out just fine. And so six and a half. And so, yeah, um, by keeping them eight inches long, I'm saving myself cutting off that tiny bit. And then because of the paper is, the paper, it, when I try to go from the end, it kind of messes up. So I start about half an inch in, go down and go back up. And then I just lo use, lose just a tiny bit of the end. But I don't need the signatures to stay together because I'm, you know, because of the way I'm binding it. If I was going to do the other kind of binding, the string binding, then I would be cutting off the other end or finding a way to make it fit. Because you don't lose, if that's all you have to lose from this end, you're not losing much. And people do these different ways. Some people cut off that little, um, the little bendy part right here. But you know, adding that mailing tape, it's actually it hardly bends it anymore. So that makes me happy. I don't know you guys yet with my mess and my inconsistencies. And my, hopefully, I'm not too long. Today is January 3rd, so Happy New Year, everyone who has come to, if anyone's come to actually watch this when it comes up, I will actually hopefully put it up today. Because um, I've been putting these in my Facebook group, Facebook group the process as I've been going, um, did on January 1st, I spent the whole day just picking papers for I have I think 26 books in the works right now that I've picked papers for um, but 12 of those are Christmas so I've been shopping the after Christmas sales and getting myself some little goodies to add to the books like I did get some cards Walmart 75% off that We'll make a nice cute little page and I do not need to keep these in like within this like yeah anyway I'm gonna keep the story in order and you'll see how I intend to do that okay so I started cutting pages this morning and I tried to do the holes all at once and I messed up so we're gonna show you a couple ways that you can fix that one way I'm hoping will be washi tape. So I'm going to put a piece of washi tape that's going to cover up to, it's going to cover like half the holes, which is going to reinforce the holes a little bit too. And then, you know, don't want it showing that side or this side. So I'll do another piece on this side. And then, I have not checked to see if the reinforcers are going to work. The 
if I don't if I have my holes in to the edge too far or not. Some of these pages are thick enough. I'm not too worried about putting reinforcers on them. But I think for the book pages, I'd like to put reinforcers on them. Then I can just poke my hole back in and hopefully it will. There. Mm, the tip of. I didn't go over quite enough there, but that's all right. Because the other idea for covering a mistake is, you know I had them here. You know that I had them. Oh, here they are. Reinforcers. And for my colors that I'm going to use for ink, I've got... Of course, it's a template and it works as a, uh, I've got, of course I have to use fun sugar. I mean, it's a book about peeps. I don't know, I'll do blue or pink or pink. Blue or pink or yellow. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of everything, so let me go ahead and fly. So, a little bit of ink and I can turn my white reinforcers. Two colored reinforcers. Got these little daubers at Hobby Lobby yesterday. It was a pack of, they had them for $10 as a pack of 10 and I used my 40% off coupon for them. I keep seeing other people use them. I've seen them on, oh my God. I've seen them on Amazon, but I didn't, really need 40 of them that's pretty much out is there one missing from there before <laughs> all right let's try this color up oh, oh that might be a little more green than i was expecting but it should still work there's a lot of peeps in there i'm sure there's one in there this color that came out pretty dark though let's oh, and it got on there let's try the yellow Scattered straw. The other one was, oh, evergreen bow. So that is green. Why did I think it was blue? I thought I bought a blue one. I sometimes use the distress inks. More often than not, though, I use, oh, that came out darker than I thought it would. Um, the pigments. The little teardrop pigments are my favorite ones to use. I don't know why. I think because they're cute little teardrops, although these are cute and little, too. Okay, you can see how some of these, these are just the cheap reinforcers. And I'm noticing that some of them don't seem to be perfectly centered. But you know what? It's part of our perfectly imperfect stuff going on. I don't know. I've already got two different color prints on there. So I think I'm going to do, yeah, I think I'll just do yellow. I mean, I could do white, actually. But. So, well, I don't know, how did that happen? Right, I'm going to have to fix my template, I think, because they are not all in exactly the same. Let's see. Let's clean these up a little bit. And that's the thing I forgot to check on my template, is that I'd be able to fit reinforcers over the, oh, I'm just going to do white ones on this one. That one definitely, oh yeah, there's a little bit on there. A little bit of that color on them, and a little bit of that color. All right. So what I'm going to do is take these and then I can make sure my holes are in the right place. I wish I had thought to do this when I first did it because that would have saved me some headache. Okay, those are close enough. This one though. 
there. All right, so I should have done this first to make sure the reinforcers were all pretty much even. All right, so um, it was this one where I cut over too far. So that's how you can fix that. Um, and I've got another one to fix as well, which I'll just do the... I won't do the washi tape on that one, at least not there. I will be decorating the plain pages up. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There we go. Never knew that was there. So when you make a mistake, don't scrap the whole piece of paper. You can do something. You can cover it up. You can, I don't know, cut it out and make it work somehow. Just make it work. You know, clean gun size. Okay. I mean, these are going to be to the edge. You're not going to see them that clearly anyway. So that happened because I was trying to do more than one page at once, but I'm still going to take that. I'm still going to take that chance. These are thinner pages. Make sure that's lined up. And what happened before is I lost my grip a little bit. But I'll do these later because don't even have to do these until... I mean, some people will lightly put numbers on them to keep them in order, but I'm hoping I'll be able to keep them in order. So this first page is a full spread, so I don't want to put anything there, because that's just how. Now this one is also a full spread, but I want to put... Some peeps wear striped pajamas, so I definitely want to have a piece of striped paper in here. And the next page, yeah, these are pretty much fully out, so I'm going to have to split them up. Generally in the books, what I try to do is um, between each, if there's a single page layout, that's where I try to add most of my papers. But this one, I'm kind of trying to go with the words a little bit, like where it says they wore striped pajamas. I want to do this little stripe paper, which just had a little bit of... Now, I had already cut this paper at six inches because that's what a lot of people's little golden books ended up being. And so I was thinking, oh, I just need six inches, but that's all right. I'm going to make it work. It'll just be shorter than the page a little bit, and that will be just fine. It'll still be cute. And it'll be pretty cute. All right. And she says, oh, and some people wore plaid pajamas. So we will put our little plaid paper right here. Um, I'll show you how I did that on another one. But I already put my holes in that one, so that has to go that way. And she says, I like polka dots. And so, you know, of course, I have some polka dot paper. I thought I had other polka dot paper in here too. Blue. Didn't I find? I thought I had found the color for the one. Yep, yeah, it is. This one right here. Um, but it'll be a little busy with this plaid, so I'll keep that at the end where I have it. So, um,. So this one I did a pocket, so I don't really need a pocket again. So soon, this will just be eight inches. So this will face her. Yeah, it's almost like, oh, I put, that one's double-sided. Okay, some of these are double-sided, some are not. So what we've got so far, we've got our cover page, which I like to put first in the book. Right, so we have our cover. And we'll have a cover page. And then a 
I'm going to decide later what I want to do with that. And then some peeps wear striped pajamas. And we have stripes. Stripes to it. Stripe wall. Some peeps wear plaid. We have a little plaid going on here. I like polka dots. So we got polka dots going on there. And time for the peeps to go to sleep. So I had thought about putting in here. Is this. Let's see. I've got a pretty purple page to put in. And then I've also got night. So I'm going to try to figure out how I want to do that. Where's my template? Hey, my template's easier to find now. This was from a book that I got out of the free bin at Second and Charles. We love ourselves. All right, I want the moon. And so I think it's going to be pretty much like that. So I'm not going to get any of this stripe, but I will figure out where to use that. I'll use that somewhere. I like that blue and purple stripe. All right, so the circle's getting everywhere. That's not annoying at all. All right, let's try that one. All right, so that's good. Apparently, I did not have that big straight before. Okay, I'll cut this one. Except I gotta go down a little bit because I made that line and pen and I apparently had that on crooked. Should have just wanted to, really only needed the one, didn't I? The one, um, corner line guiding. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. So I gotta go over and then down and back up. I don't, I think I might need a new, all right, now we know this is gonna be six and a half, so that helps. Oh, because I'm only at five and a half. I'm glad I did have that mark on there so I didn't cut this so short. Um, okay, let's see if maybe that will come off when I do this. Eight. If not, I might cut it just slightly. Hmm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this just a little bit shorter this way just to get rid of those marks that I messed up on. I don't need the net in there anyway. All right. And then I will just line it up. There we go, a little color on the back. Might leave that like that, or I might I might back this on another paper. We'll see. Um, all right, so I've got that lined up so it's kind of centered between the bottom and the top. And then I'll put my, that's so much easier when it's just one paper and not a book cover. All right, and it's got the purple in there. That's so nice. Stripes, plaid, polka dot. It's time for bed. Put my. I'll use these again somewhere. All right. This is one of the pieces. Um, my Annie Barb does card making and so she's collected a lot throughout the years and she was ready to clean stuff up and pass on some papers to me and so this is a beautiful little lavender piece that is perfect in this book lavender or lilac what would you say all right so this is going to go like this and then if i want to put a page what i do is if i want to put a pocket what I do is, on my bone folder, that is, and of course, you know, I can't find the apple when it goes with this, because who would I be if I knew everything else? 
All right, well, do you guys see where I put it? No, no answer. It can't have gone far. I mean, I didn't hear anything falling on the floor. This is what you love most about watching people craft is them looking for their stuff. Here it is. All right. So, see I made these pockets earlier. I'm going to make one. I'm going to do one more pocket just so you guys can see how I do it. So, this is 11. So, this is about two and a half inches. So, I'm going to go one, two and a half. Then I'll fold it. And then I will put that folded end at six and a half, cut it off, and then I have, so then I can decide if I want my pocket to be on the inside or that side. I think I'll put it on this side. Try to go to this inside. I see it doesn't look long. Not really. Let me. All right, I'm gonna have to make it shorter now because I just screwed up. But that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna make it a bit shorter just so that other page. I made that one about seven and a half. Let's see how it's going to look. I think what I'm actually going to do is I might put it all the way down so that little piece of green at the top shows. Or if I do it, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to do it all the way down so that little bit of green at the top shows. And then maybe I'll do. If I do, if I do reinforces in that one, I could do them. I don't know. Maybe do, we'll see. So you know, you can vary things up. If you mess up, it's not the end of the world. It just adds some different things. Some more peeps fall asleep, but the peeps chick peep chick state ask for more stories. Hmm. Okay. So like. So this one is like two scenes. So this is a good place where I'm, uh, this is a place where I'm going to put um, several pages, just because. All right, so I'm going to put that pink one. And what other things do I have to go in here? I'll do this blue one. That will be a journaling plate. And a half. So that'll be a journaling page. And I will add some more of the other pages in. That'll be a place 